Hey there, welcome to Container Crops. And if you want to learn how to grow everything from herbs to watermelons in containers, then come on in. There's a lot growing on in here. Subscribe and hit that bell so you won't miss any of my videos. Come on in. Let's see what's growing now. Hey guys, it's the end of fall and it's time to winterize and get ready to protect our gardens whether they're in the ground or in containers for the winter. But I just wanted to showcase my garden when it was in its full bloom this summer. This is one of my tomato plants. These were slicing tomatoes and as you can see the little blooms there where the tomatoes would be getting ready to form. And back here in the same pot, this is my first year gardening, so I'm not exactly sure if that was a good idea, but this is a green bell pepper plant. And as you can see, there's a little bitty bell pepper right there, just starting to grow. I have organic potting soil that I use, organic plants, so my garden is pretty much 100% organic. And this was a potting mix that I actually used which is a little lighter than the actual potting soil. And these were my containers. I actually have four of them. You can kind of see a little green trussle back there that I put in the back to kind of support it. Over here in this container, as you can see, all the pretty green leaves. These are cucumbers. Don't know how they were going to do when I planted them. Back here, you can see I have cayenne pepper. Now my cayenne peppers did pretty good this summer. I've got quite a few in the freezer all stored up as you can see. I have several that were growing in full blown plant. And the cucumbers never did do too well this year. They kind of just studded. They turned round and short. But they kept blooming. They just kept blooming. Down here you can see I have Swiss chard. My Swiss chard, as you can see here, started coming up really well. And as I say, this is my first year gardening, guys, so I learned a lot. This was my rosemary, and my rosemary just keeps on growing, keeps on growing and growing. I talked with a nursery here, and they said, just leave it alone this winter. It'll keep growing. Just make sure I check to water it just periodically throughout the winter months and it should be just fine and when i do that oh my god it smells so good wish you guys could smell it and the leaves and the flowers that i had on my cucumber plants were just simply amazing although they didn't produce they were beautiful this is my first strawberry plant this is the one that i started with and it's the whole pot is full now and as you can see, the leaves were nice and green and they're steady blooming under there. This was, like I say, in midsummer. Back here, this was romaine lettuce. I actually was able to grow and harvest this three times throughout the summer. It grew, I cut it all the way back down, it grew again, and I cut it again and it grew again. So I think that was pretty successful. As you can see, I had pulled off some dead leaves from around uh, the different plants as I was going along. I didn't have any weeds to pull in my containers this year, so that was a good thing. Um, I did overwater quite a bit, but like I said, this was my first year gardening, so I learned a lot. Uh, my strawberry plants, throughout the summer, they grew shoots and shoots and shoots, and I replanted some in smaller plastic pots as well as in this pot. And now you can see a little bug there, and I'm pretty sure that's probably where those holes came from. So I took the little bug off, and after that, I actually didn't have any more problems. Over here, I had a cherry tomato plant. As you can see, the little blossoms there, they were so pretty. I got quite a few little cherry tomatoes out of that. They grew pretty well. Back here, these were radishes. Now guys, I planted these at the end of spring going into summer, but I just think it was too hot 
They didn't make it. They look healthy, rich right here, but they did not make it. I planted some more going into the fall because it's the cooler weather. Okay, so that is my cherry tomatoes and these were radishes. I've actually planted some more. I planted them at the uh, very start of fall. They're doing nicely again. I did realize or find out that they were a cool weather vegetable. So hopefully I will have a good harvest of radishes. I will be documenting that growth as they come along. Those did look really well though. But as I tried to see what they look like, they went to seed on me. Okay. And again, our strawberry and lettuce. I also had some onion in this pot in the other part. It never came up. And guys, this right here is a special project that I've been working on. These are actually rose bushes that I am regrowing. These came from just long stem roses that I received at Mother's Day. I put some germination on them and the stems were actually bare when I started planting them. And as you can see, there are leaves coming out. Yes. So hopefully they will grow. And here is another one that's doing even better. I'll sit it up here so you guys can take a good look at it. You can see all the stems and it's just in a water bottle. I germinated the bottom. I germinated one with uh, cinnamon and I germinated the other one with apple cider vinegar and both of them seem to be doing really well. I actually did four of them and these two seem to be moving right along. They seem to be coming right along so don't throw out your roses. They can be regrown. I haven't successfully completed this all the way to planting them in the ground yet but We'll see how it goes. I'll keep working at it until I get it. And uh, guys, I also have a couple more over here. And as I said, I did four. These two on this side didn't seem to be going quite as well. I'm not sure if they will sprout at all. But that's why you always want to do multiple ones. So a couple don't work. The other ones should. And this is the start of my container garden. I am planning on filling this deck completely up with different containers and things. And I hope you guys will stay with me along this journey. Tell me what you think. Leave me some comments. Subscribe. And tap that bell so you'll always be notified. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.